Whether you're for it or against it, if you're active in the Sims community, you're probably well aware of a frequently requested pack. And I'm not talking about generations. Farming. A pack that draws great excitement, some boredom, and some resistance has become a flashpoint in the Sims community, and in the recent trailer for the new Dream Home Decorator game pack, Simmers are claiming that there are new farming hints. Today I'll go over the latest supposed hint for farming, but I will also go over what I consider some of the stronger hints for farming we've gotten in the past, starting with the most recent and working back to a hint that dates back to 2018. Before we go ahead and get started though, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos, as well as Paralyze. My question for you today is, which of any of these do you think are indicators for a farming pack to come, and which do you think is just reaching? So you likely already know about it, I'm late to this, but there was apparently some eagle eyes watching the Sims 4 trailer for the new game pack, and all of those eyes were on this new toddler tent, which I must say I am quite fond of now that I actually noticed it. As you can see, the tent clearly shows a design that features farming related things. You can see, of course, the classic red barn, a duck pond, baby chicks, pigs, a chicken, a rooster, even a cow. Now, is this a cute design? Sure. Is this a hint for farming? I'm not sure. The Sims team we know does hint, though in my experience, they most often hint in actually tweets or through official forums or blog posts, patch notes, etc and in item descriptions as well versus the actual item design. And if you doubt they actually hint in item descriptions, I was able to predict Paranormal Stuff Pack due to some item descriptions both in Snowy Escape and some previous packs. That said, I'm not saying they can't hint with a design. The Sims team is probably well aware just how many people like me are constantly speculating, and they might be switching it up just for fun. At the same time, of course, a design like this is not at all out of the ordinary to have some kind of farming themed design. This is a common design and it would be something that you might put on a little kid's thing. Looking at some other featured items, I don't see anything else that hits as quite on the nose for this new game pack. Unless you want to say, oh look, we're getting a lot of plants, or point out to that modern take on a landscape painting. Some also mentioned that there was a cow plant in the trailer, but cow plants are a mainstay of the franchise, and I'll just say it, a favorite of some game changers. I see it more like an Easter egg, and I don't really know that that was a hint. I would say that of all these hints, supposedly, that probably the tent would be the strongest. Of course, there was also the promo for the Summer of the Sims, and while we do know what the kit is and the game pack is, we have yet to know the identity of that expansion pack, which I'm sure is why we're talking about farming so much right now. The hints here of course being charming and bond with nature. Now this could be farming. I will admit the wording is a bit odd. I know that I went a completely opposite direction than a lot of people and I said charming like charms like fairies bonding with nature. Of course I still say that it seems a little bit weird and unlikely they would do a whole expansion for fairies, but I admit, when I think of farming, those aren't the first words I come up with. Now, you could argue that maybe some of the tasks that you do for farming, being out in the world, could help you more connect more deeply with nature, but I don't think the act of farming itself quite matches that. You could also say that charming could refer to southern charm, which I've heard some people say as well. And perhaps the odd wording is just to throw people off because you could have a lot of wording that is really specifically pertaining to farming and it could be really obvious and I don't think they want it to be super obvious. I would argue they did a really nice job with the reveal of the interior designer game pack. Yes, I'm going to keep calling it that because I keep forgetting to call it Dream Home Decorator. It's too much of a mouthful for me. But I think they did a good job because no one that I saw or very few people actually guessed that. Now, let's go back in time a little bit for some more farming hints, though. In 2020, a SimGrow actually did address this idea of a farming pack, though, of course, the answer was not super specific. I've been asking around, do you know if we will ever get a farming pack for The Sims 4? Just curious if you had any thoughts on the matter. And SimGrow Frost answered, trust me when I say, we know a lot of you want a farming-themed pack. 
Now, I know a lot of people get annoyed with these types of responses, but I do want to point out a couple things. So while this doesn't tell us a ton, I will say that grows. I've noticed this, at least in my own experience, if they don't want to answer something, they kind of just ignore it. So I still think it is a little bit significant and it means that they probably were at least considering doing a farming pack, either working on farming pack, considering a farming pack, or, and I know most people don't want this, I don't personally want this, maybe even adding farming in a different way, such as fruit kits. Now, our next hint dates back technically to 2018, as this has to do with an item description from Get Famous. I believe, though, it was only pointed out somewhere in maybe 2020, 2019, and I think it was from Extra Time Media. So this is the Dreamy Pad bed, and it does mention something about llamas, I think, and it also does mention something about an evil chicken. Now, in case you didn't know, that evil chicken actually is a reference to a chicken coop you could buy from the Sims Free store, that really expensive Sims Free store, and so it was this chicken coop. There's also this poll which was tweeted in 2018 and this was from a former sim guru it asked specific questions about what features simmers what for a farming pack as you can see raising animals is the most popular followed by horses living off the grid which we sort of have and finally growing crops Keep in mind that, of course, this is an unofficial pool. This guru is no longer on The Sims 4, but this is an explicit acknowledgement that there could have been a farming concept. As an honorable mention, many have also found it interesting that in the first wave of kits, we were given a country kitchen kit. Again, this is a relatively common and popular kind of style, so I wouldn't say that this in of itself is a hint, but I will say it does seem to echo the Sims Restore content, because in the Sims Restore, we actually did have a kind of country kitchen set, and then like I said, we had along with that a chicken coop and some other items. I believe we had a cow you can milk. You can tell I never actually used the Sims 3 store. I was actually very, very late to Sims 3. And I didn't know the Sims 3 store even existed until I was pretty much moved on to Sims 4 by force because I couldn't use it on my, com my Mac computer at the time for Sims 3. But anyway, I will finish off by saying I am relatively neutral to farming oddly. I've actually gone back and forth. I think in theory, farming is a very broad concept. Now, I'm thinking when people are requesting farming, they're imagining a typical American Southern farm with all sorts of animals, although even under that of itself, there's a big variation among simmers on what kind of activities that should include. But as I've said in the past, I actually am longing for a different take in farming. I'd love to see a non-American world. I actually posted this wacky on idea on Twitter the other day, and obviously this is not a likely thing. It's not going to happen. A llama farm isn't going to happen. Don't get me wrong. I was just trying to pack in some popular requests. I was saying, oh, you know, farming could be a way to add in some generational gameplay and even some hobbies, and even, if we want to get really generous, stick in a cult. But of course, I don't really think this would happen. I was just trying to think of how could farming be more expansive and a little bit unexpected, but still give simmers a lot of those common requests. But I guess the point is, it'd be really cool to see a concept and have it a little bit different, have it have some more depth, replayability, and honestly, maybe something that's a non-American world. I'll also add, no matter what they do with farming, I never ex fully expect it to be more than one or two full animals. So what I kind of mean by that is I hear a lot of people say they need all the animals, but if you think about cats and dogs, we only got cats and dogs, and the amount of an new animations and everything it would require, not to mention people are already struggling with simulation lag, I just don't see it working that there's going to be cows, horses, chickens, etc. and have all those. Now I do see that it's possible to have several smaller animals such as animal objects, Kind of like we got with the Sims 3 chicken coop where you can interact with them, but they're not a fully playable pet. And what I mean by that is just how they work in Sims 4 with cats and dogs. I mean more like those rodents from, yes, my first pet stuff. So more like animal objects. I just hope that people's expectations are somewhat realistic about a farming pack. 
because again, I don't think they would ever animate that many animals, even in Sims 3. So this isn't just a Sims 4 thing. I think it's just a lot to pull off. But on the note, I will let you go. What hints do you think are the most and least viable for farming? And would you even want farming? If you do, what form of farming would you like? What would you want it to include or not include? Of course, be respectful to each other in the comments, even if you disagree. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.